Lately, Indian men throughout the internet have been making waves with a meme called Bob's and Vagine. What is that? According to Know Your Memes, Bob's and Vagine are misspellings of the words boobs and vagina, which are associated with sexually explicit chat messages written in broken English commonly featured on the subreddit Indian People Facebook. So, as an Indian and a man, how do I explain this behavior of my own people? Let's dive in. Reason number one. India is a huge country with many subcultures and traditions and regional cultures, all having one thing in common. Sex is bad. That does not mean there is a punishment. It is simply something you shouldn't talk about, you don't do, nobody does, your parents haven't done it, and nobody wants to do it either because it is bad. So put aside a few modern cities where people just don't give a crap, you have this massive giant population that cannot get laid because of societal restrictions. Girls are afraid of being seen with a guy. Girls are not allowed to go out except for school and college and occasional trips at the friends. A lot of girls don't go out at all because in case you're seen with a guy, you're bringing shame to the family. So when girls remain in, naturally guys in all these cities aren't getting laid and they wanna because biology. So the option they are left with to release the sexual frustration and find girls is the internet. Therefore, if you are a girl, you're going to find messages in your inbox from Indian dudes. Okay, but why such an increasing number of messages sent to Western girls or mainly white girls? Reason number two, Indian fascination with white skin, which blew up with white people telling us for 200 years that they are superior than us by the virtue of being fair skinned. This inferiority complex could have been avoided had all Indians been brown. But because there are Indians who too are fair skinned, this became complicated as the philosophy that fair skin is better was adopted by a lot of these fair skinned Indians as well. So when you see your own people discriminating against you, it sucks. Soon this discrimination creeped into finding love, finding a partner for marriage, modeling, films, an entire show business. And the craving and value of white skin skyrocketed. When you open your TV and all you see is beautiful fair skinned girls, chances are that's going to become what you like too. And the trophy holders at being fair skinned is obviously white people, which is why Indians relentlessly pursue them. Okay, pursuing is one thing. Why send sexual messages and ask for pics of those kind? Reason number three. For decades, Bollywood movies and TV shows have propagated the idea that Western women are loose, naked and easy. And this goes back to the Bollywood classic era too, in which largely the association of white women was made with partying, drugs and shaky models. And with time, this has gotten worse. Probably the biggest show on television today was a comedy sketch show called Kapil Sharma Show. In that show, whenever a Bollywood actor made an entry alluding to the image of being a woman charmer, he would be accompanied by a bunch of white mute girls. They don't say much, they laugh, smile and look pretty. They are props or objects to showcase the guy's popularity amongst women. The same happens in major award shows. White women are props used continuously in varied segments with the same objective. Dumb, mute and pretty white girls. In almost every romantic comedy or sex comedy, to establish in the beginning of the movie that the guy is a womanizer, he would be seen either sleeping or waking up next to white girls and he would later get his life in order for the Indian girl. Basically, sleeping with and chucking white girls out of your life is non-consequential because according to Bollywood, that's what white girls are for. They sleep around regularly, hence their feelings is not something to be accounted for. Rarely has the portrayal of Western women been as thinking smart beings. White women have now also replaced Indian girls in Bollywood party songs, which is a subcategory of item songs in which women are sexual objects. So two things to consider. A major part of India doesn't watch Hollywood and worships Bollywood. Second, people have a tendency to believe what they see on TV. Okay, but why aren't they afraid? Reason number four. Indians are very much afraid, just as any sane person would be of the law. The reason why it happens is because those Indians Sending sexual messages don't understand how privacy works on the internet. You have to understand a great part of India is still very new to the internet because a great part of India is dealing with poor education, low literacy rates, low opportunities and zero awareness, which would explain the broken English. India is not only a few poor cities. The actual India is highly behind in comparison to the modern world. And suddenly, almost everybody has high speed internet on which they can message girls from all around the world. So, with limited knowledge, these people think the inbox is something very private. So, whatever they type will never be disclosed to the world. Hence, they can do anything on it. 
they clearly are completely wrong. It never occurs to them that women can take screenshots and share them with the world, send it to the police, take legal action, shame you online, or simply laugh at your ass, making it a worldwide meme. And to me, these are the reasons why pops and vagine messages aren't going to stop too. It requires too many things to change. And also, those who are sending these messages don't even know that they are the very subject of mockery. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Go to our Instagram if you want me to shout at you to go to work. And don't forget, you are awesome.